Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we'll discuss a question which says that write the system of equations in ax is equal to b form, and the system of equations is given as x plus y is equal to one, x minus z is equal to two, y plus z is equal to four. Now we have to write it in ax is equal to b form, that is in matrix form. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. Now, a system of equations can be written in matrix form ax is equal to b, where a is coefficient matrix, x is variable matrix, and b is constant matrix. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Here the system of equations is given to us and we have to write it in matrix form that is in the form ax is equal to b now let this be equation number 1, this be equation number 2 and this be equation number 3. Now we have to write it in matrix form. So first we have to write its coefficient matrix A. Now there are three equations in three variables. So Dimension of coefficient matrix will be 3 cross 3. Now in coefficient matrix, the elements are the coefficients. That is the elements of the matrix are the coefficients of the given variables in the system of equations. First of all, let us rewrite these equations. Then we will write the coefficient matrix. Now here we can see the first equation is x plus y is equal to 1 and here the variable z is not given so we assume coefficient of z as 0. Similarly in second equation the variable y is not given so we assume coefficient of y as 0 and in the third equation the variable x is not given. So we assume coefficient of x as 0. So we rewrite the three equations as x plus y plus 0 into z is equal to 1. Then x plus 0 into y minus z is equal to 2. And 0 into x plus y plus z is equal to 4. Now let us name these equations as 4, 5 and 6. And now let us write the coefficient matrix A. Now we know that in coefficient matrix the elements are the coefficients of the given variables in the system of equations. And since there are three equations in three variables, so dimension of coefficient matrix will be 3 cross 3. Now in the first column, we will write coefficients of variable x in the three equations. So here in the first column, we will write elements 1, 1 and 0. In the second column, we'll write coefficients of variable y in these three equations. So, in second column, we have elements 1, 0 and 1. Similarly, in third column, we'll write coefficients of variable z. So, in third column, we'll write elements 0, minus 1 and 1. Now let us write variable matrix x. Now here you can see 
we have three variables x, y and z and they will be written in vector matrix that is in column matrix. So variable matrix capital X is equal to the column matrix that is matrix having single column with elements x, y and z. And now we just write the constant matrix B. Now in the system of equations you can see that we have three constants that is three constant terms 1, 2 and 4. So constant matrix B is also column matrix that is matrix having single column with elements 1, 2 and 4. So this is the matrix A, this is the matrix X and this is the matrix B. Now from the key idea we know that a system of equations can be written in matrix form AX is equal to B where A is coefficient matrix, X is variable matrix and B is constant matrix. So the system of equations is written as matrix A that is the matrix with elements in first row as 1, 1, 0, elements in second row as 1, 0, minus 1 and elements in third row as 0, 1, 1 into matrix X that is the column matrix having elements X, Y and Z is equal to matrix B that is again a column matrix with elements 1, 2 and 4 which is of the form AX is equal to B. So this is the required matrix form. So we have written the system of equations in AX is equal to B form that is in matrix form and this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.